Let's try to analyze the wind loads on structures. Or in other words, if we have some kind of skyscraper, how does a wind blowing towards that building actually get around? So if we draw this from the top, essentially a cut from the plan, and this is a square building, and the wind is coming from this direction, Let's try to model exactly where that wind is going once it uh, interacts with this structure. So obviously it can't go through the wall. So wind forces um, coming right at the wall will have to go around the building. So we can kind of draw it like this. And as they wrap around, over here they're fine because there's nothing impeding their motion. And once they come around, they're going to go back because there's extra, think of them as each of these as a specific air molecule moving. They're getting really congested up here, so they're going to replace um, once there's empty space and come back to exactly where they were at the start. So you look at this and you think it's pretty intuitive, um, but in fact this has a lot of implications on what forces the building is actually experiencing. Because right here, you're getting almost like a barrage, like imagine someone just shooting you with a water hose. So you're getting a lot of pressure here on this face of the building, which is experiencing the wind force. While here, somewhat non-intuitive, you're actually experiencing suction. Because there's a, an absence of air here. So what does this actually mean anyway? Well, it, it means a lot of things. For structures, um, you only, not only have to account for the force the building might need to hold, for the pressure on one side, but you also need to account for the suction on the other side. Um, one really good example is that in 1960, uh, there was a building where, an office building, where on this side, the window panes on a very high windy day were actually start breaking inwards because the force of the, of the wind on the glass was, was breaking the uh, attachments to the mullions. So the office workers in here were really frightened when their large glass windows started falling into their office. But even worse with the guys over here on this side of the building, because their window panes, under the almost the exact same force, actually flew out. So there is a really good example of the effect of wind loads on structures.